We have ignition. Miss hmm. Courtney? Uh, yes. We just met. I'm Leo's friend. Of course, Wayne. Randall. Is it I have no idea why he was so rude. Well, mother can only do so much before they leave the nest, right? Have you got time for a drink? I really shouldn't, but I, I have a few minutes. Please. Uh, yes. Um, Madeira. Oh, I have excellent taste for you. Let me guess, is that a good breeding or careful study? Well, let's just say you're in good hands with me for that. <laughs> This is Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. This is your teleprompter call. My name is Palmer. Say hello, darling. Palmer, darling. <laughs> yes, I do need you to call me more than three times a day. Where are you? Very good. You've missed me, I'm sure. Yes. Nothing's the same without you. <laughs> well, then, I suggest you enjoy this brief time that we have together, Mother. Yeah, just like old times, huh? Hey, here's the play. I want you to talk about morning like it's the air we breathe. Yes, well, I'm flying to Virginia tomorrow to, to finalize the interior and hire a pilot. Excuse me, wait. My husband seems to have a new toy. <laughs> Private jet. Nice touch. How much? Forty to fifty million. But that includes the crew. And how on earth are you going to pay for something like that? Oh, darling, remember, I do have check writing privileges. Is it working? Do I ever let you down? Let's finish it up, Mother. Uh, well, darling, enjoy the rest of your crew. And don't let them ask too many questions. I love you too, Palmer. <laughs> My husband, he depends on me for everything. He has me doing a million and one things for him, but I must say I love it. And I would love to see and have that drink, but uh, it'll have to be another time. Well, then let's reschedule. I just had a business proposition I wanted to discuss. Oh, that sounds promising. Well, I promise you I won't waste your time. I look forward to it. Thank you, Well, you haven't lost your touch. <sighs> well, I want to get back in your good graces, so how'd I do? I'll let you know if you bite. Fine. Call me for the second round, huh? In Green Lake. Despite the problems with my son, I want you to know that I do dearly love him. And I trust you know what you're doing. I've got under control, Mother. Okay. You are definitely paying the price for me. It always costs me to deal with Vanessa, but if it keeps you out of trouble, it's fine. I don't mind. Thank you. What can I say? You're scary when you're desperate. What do you mean, scary? What? Let me, let me rephrase. You turn into a, a, an axe-swinging psychopath when you're desperate. <laughs> Did you ever talk to that guy about blowing her off that night? Yeah, I tried to explain that I was helping a friend. She must happen to be me, your favorite person in the world. She must have freaked. Uh, she wasn't real happy about it. Come on, I'm in detail. She dumped me, all right? She didn't buy my explanation about helping you. That guy dumped you over me? You know what? That girl was tripping. No, don't even, What's the name? Don't even bother. Listen, she may hate me all she wants, but at least I can talk some sense into her. Why don't you kick up your heels? Like I get some thrill out of seeing your thing with Becca go up in flames, please. Oh, you didn't like me with Becca any more than I like you wasting your time on Ryan. True. And now we're both finally miserable? Be happy. I guess I am. Okay. Drink to that. May Ryan 
roast and dot com hell for what he did to you. And made Becca be a virgin the rest of her life. Oh, that's actually pretty hard. And that big haired old maid deserves what she gets. They both do. For you, my friend, who is now strong enough to overcome love. Congratulations. May you love from my mistake. And you from mine. That's why we have each other. <laughs>